Hey, just wanted to uh, follow up the, the last uh, video. Uh, the point I was making is that um, the analogy was Dory. Yeah, finding Dory was the fish that was, um, again, trying to find home and her parents. And the parents had left seashells around where she grew up, which is her home. And the analogy, and, and for us, and finally she started finding the seashells and she started getting closer and closer and that led her home. And the, so the analogy again is us as if we're Dory, we have the amnesia uh, of, with each incarnation. We forget all of our past lives and all those lessons learned. So we essentially have a short-term memory, just like Dory, as, as far as spiritually, we have a short-term memory. So, um, but the way that we find home <clears throat> is through synchronicities. And synchronicity is when, um, basically it's just a, like a crazy coincidence. It's, so, it's something that's so coincidental that it's just like, it would be like a lightning striking like coincidence. So, I mean, for me, I don't believe in coincidences. It's only synchronicities. And they can get extreme. Like for me, on, on my spiritual path, since I've started drinking ayahuasca, synchronicity is getting closer and closer and closer, keep happening. And they're, they're extreme. They're just extreme, extremely um, significant, intense, pretty much mind-blowing synchronicities and happening just every day, multiple times a day. So I know that for me, those are the, those like Dory finding the seashells. And because that's your, that's my higher self laying seashells, basically put, lay, putting synchronicities in the, the time space continuum in this three dimensional reality. When I experience that synchronicity, that's, that's like a feedback, like, okay, that's a seashell. That's like a seashell Dory. I'm getting closer to home, which is connecting with my higher self. So, I mean, it, it sounds crazy, but um, I think, I think at least some people will, kind of kind of get what I'm trying to say and some people may just like totally get it 100% or you know take it beyond where I've taken it but that's that's kind of the concept I was trying to get across with with uh, finding Dory and um, and there were there were some other more subtle um, some more subtle things in finding Dory too like one of the ones that I that I caught on to was the octopus now the octopus was in the most intelligent and the most capable of all the creatures in Finding Dory. And you could see he had these like bags under his eyes. He represented the old soul. Uh, the old souls, but, uh, who, and who are the oldest souls uh, on the planet? And it's actually the Jews. Because they were the, uh, basically what happened was in a, in a previous uh, reality before we came to this reality, uh, Jews did not ascend. They didn't make it. They were too attached to the material. And you can see that they're, that's their main struggle still while they're here in this reality with us. They're, they have an attachment to the material that is just, it's like almost impossible for them to give up. And now the other, uh, the, the, the Gentiles, we have our own problems and our own issues that we're struggling through, but we actually are here to work together. We're here to help the Jews uh, progress spiritually and the Jews are actually here to help us. <clears throat> you know, so... Um, but they're the oldest souls, okay? So they they kind of have uh, an edge, uh, at least in some perspective of things. So anyway, this um, this octopus, Dory couldn't have done it without the help of this octopus. This octopus basically set it all up for her, you know? So that's like the idea is that we can't get through this without the help of, of the Jews, and the Jews, then the Jews can't get the help with, without us because the, the octopus did not want to leave the aquarium. He didn't want... Basically, they didn't, he didn't want to ascend. He didn't want to find his higher self. His, he thought home was in the aquarium. So this, like, this reality is the aquarium um, that we're living in. And spiritually, uh, for the Jewish people, they think this is home. I mean, this is, this is it. I mean, the material, this is, this is everything that we want right here. You know, um, you know, the Jews are pretty good at making money. They make a lot of money. And they, they, that's just that's their thing. That's what they're interested in. And so that kind of holds them back from, from seeing the big pictures that, no, this, this reality is not home. This isn't the ultimate at all. This is, we have to move, keep progressing and move beyond that. And that was actually kind of what Dory's um, lesson was for the octopus. Uh, in helping Dory, the octopus uh, was, didn't want to go out into the sea, wanted to stay in the aquarium, but eventually um, found it in, in his heart to, you know, basically do, do a, a, a self-sacrifice to help Dory and they all survived and it all was happily ever after, of course. And the octopus became the new teacher after the manta ray uh, left with the other manta rays and basically ascended, went off somewhere and did something else and, and the octopus became the new teacher. And um, 
for, for the, for the children, for, for the, you know, the young sea creatures. And so, um, the, you know, that was, that was kind of what happened. But anyway, there was a lot more in all these Pixar movies. And the other, the other one I thought of, I was actually reading, um, reading my daughter, the story of, of, um, the story version of one of the monsters, the monsters Inc movies. And that's basically what's happening too. This is the last one I'll cover uh, for now. And that's another Pixar one because all the Pixar ones are just basically to tell us what's really happening. It's funny. It's like children's uh, movies and stories, but they're act it's actually what's really going on. And so with Monsters, Inc., that's what's going on. They're, the monsters are the interdimensional entities and they're actually feeding off of our negative emotions of fear, anger, jealousy, all those negative emotions. That's food to them. And so this whole reality is actually set up in a, in a way that maximizes those emotions and people because that's their food. And, and by Sea Monsters Inc., you, you can kind of see yourself in them in a way because just like, just like any other thing that's trying to live, it's just trying to live its life. Like even look at a parasite. You can't really, I, for me, where I am at spiritually, I can't really hate a parasite because I see myself in the parasite. Um, because the parasite is trying to live its life, you know, like a rat or a snake or you know, spider with things, things that people don't like. It's just, an, it's just a living being that's just trying to to carve its niche out in in the the this reality and eat eat and reproduce and just do its thing. It's just trying to do its thing, just like just like me, just like you and everybody else. Uh, it's just, you know, I don't I, I don't I don't look down upon anything. So even the interdimensional entities that are um, harvesting our negative emotions you know it kind of pisses me off and at first when I when I kind of this kind of came to, to be more focused I mean David Icke has been talking about this for years I mean and he's he's on to something for sure and you know at first I'm kind of pissed off like oh, you know those these freaking interdimensional entities are just harvesting us and living off us well that's what we do too and that's what we do with uh, you know cattle and chickens and pigs and even plants I mean Plants are just trying to live their life. We say, now we take them and their whole purpose is just to grow and then we eat them. And, you know, people say, yeah, well, you don't always kill the plant. Well, most plants that we eat, we kill. You know, <laughs> we, we, we plant them, they grow and we eat them and then they're, that's their entire life. So um, we're just doing the same thing here that they're doing up there. And it's, they have it efficiently. But the thing is, we're all ascending. See, that's the thing, all the levels. This 3D reality is going up. Um, and, and their level, which is maybe, I don't know if it's 4D or 5, I think it's probably 4D or something, it's the astral level, they're, they're going up too. And that's why you can see in the Monsters, Inc. movie, they realize that they can actually get more power um, in their reality by um, making, instead of scaring the kids, they make the kids laugh and they make the kids happy because that positive energy is so much more powerful than the negative energy. And they, they realize that through the movie. And that's what's happening. So on, on in those interdimensionals now, not all of them have figured it out because when you drink ayahuasca, you go over there, there's still a lot of bad news uh, type characters there. But um, I think on the, high, on the higher level, a lot of them are like, okay, they're, they're getting it too. As we're getting it here, you know, we're, we're, we're getting it that, you know, it's not the best thing to be um, eating meat uh, a lot, you know, if at all. And it's, it's not the best thing for us to um, abuse or take advantage of our position as human beings in this world to each other and to animals and you know you, you we abuse plants to a certain extent but um, I'm still trying to figure all that out but we're, we're still trying to figure all that out you know what's the best morally thing to do and stuff and they're figuring it out too they were like they're like okay maybe it's um, you know maybe these negative emotions and this fear and anger and jealousy and rage and hate and all that stuff that they're feeding off of, they're realizing, you know what, we get more when we, when we um, maybe can shift reality so that they can be, so that humans can feel, you know, happy and empowered and stuff. And so that's actually happening. There's just, it's, it's happening right now. That's why this is a big struggle. It's like, you know, one day it seems like, oh, maybe things are going in the right direction. The other direction is like, no, it's going back in the wrong direction. You know, it's like, mm, you know, it's, it's all, it's a lot of activity right now on all the dimensional levels. But but the destiny is every, everything's going up because there's it has to the progress it happens it's just like getting older it's like you can you can only get held back in in, in a grade level so much you, you go to the next grade i mean once you get the lesson a hundred times you can't stay in you know fifth grade 
after a hundred times through, you're going to finally get to sixth grade and beyond. So um, there's, it's, that is the direction ultimately that it's going, is, is actually in a higher consciousness direction, no matter how, how, many, how much the forces that want to prevent that, um, how, no, matter how, no matter how much they want to prevent that, it's still going to happen. So I think I covered most uh, everything I was thinking about covering in this one, but um, if I think of more, I'll just post another video. But thanks for watching, and um, yeah, just an update for me personally. I haven't, um, I haven't drank ayahuasca for, gosh, for many months now, because I'm just trying to work on myself, trying to work self-development. And, um, but I think it's, I think it's coming time to go back in again. And I, I wanted to be a vegan and I wanted to, um, just have a lot more like pure purification in myself before I went back in. But it's just hard, man. It's hard. And I've, I, I'm not a vegan. I'm not even a vegetarian. I'm, I've, I'm a lot closer to it. I've probably cut my meat consumption down by at least 75%. So I am making progress, but it's it's hard uh, for me. You know, it's it's not that. I guess it's really not that hard because if I really wanted to do it, I could do it right now. So, um, but those are the things I'll probably be confronted with when I get go back in, because uh, you know, again, if I have if I've been eating some meat, those parasites the um, will be inside my intestines that are in the meat and that feed off that meat. And so I'll be, I'll be seeing them when I go to the other side, that'll be the first thing I see. But maybe I'll, what I'll try to do is just like go at least like two weeks before I drink again, um, pure vegan, and then, and then do it. And also um, make sure I got those metals because the metals are like, um, that's like, that gets within you too. And that gives you a lot more like power up when you go and that's like armor and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, things won't mess with you as much if you have the, if you have those metals like if you're drinking the um, the miso, miso silver and miso gold and all the other all the other ones you got like alloys running through your blood and that um, and that just gives you kind of like a power up so that's kind of a plan uh, I think it's gonna be happening pretty soon here in the next couple months here I'm gearing up for it so uh, that's that's basically all the updates for now I uh, hope everybody's doing good I love you all bye bye